The contents of this video is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be looking at being able to change the image icons for our games. So for example, these three games here, one is the Ninja Turtles, the Shredder's Revenge, the Street Fighter Collector's Edition, and the Smash Bros. You'll be able to change the title like you see above and also the image. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so before we get started, I'd like to show you what the image looks like before I edit it. So if you look down a little bit, I have my switch on the screen and the game that we're going to be using or editing today is the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. If you saw in the beginning of the video that it was a different image, even a different title, that's what we're going to be doing. So I just wanted to show you all that before we continue so that way you can see what the image was before we actually got started. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and start the process. All right, so I powered off my switch and you're going to need to open up your SD card on your PC. I also deleted my setup so that way we can start this process together. But now that you have your SD card open, we can just have it move to the side and we can download this one zip file that we need for today. So if you look in the description down below, there's going to be several links, but one of them should say download eradicating love sys tweak 14.1.2 here. Once you click on the link, it should take you to the page where you can start the download process and it should look something like this. There's only one release, but this version works with anything latest Switch firmware and below. Any older releases won't work with the latest Switch firmware. So that's why there's only one release, but it should work with anything lower as well. But we're gonna wanna go ahead and download this one zip file from this link. So just go ahead and click on it. If you don't have any links available, that's probably because your assets tab is closed. And you're gonna to wanna to click on this assets tab and you should have the download links there. But once we click on that link and start to download, we can have it move to the desktop like I have done already. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is use our zipping software to extract the files. Now I highly recommend using 7-zip. I almost never have any issues when extracting files with 7-zip. I know a lot of people use WinZip. And for some reason with the, method, with the methods that I use, to extract files with 7-zip, it doesn't work the same with WinZip. So just be cautious about using WinZip. And if you want to follow along with me exactly, I'll leave a link in the description for 7-zip as well. So that way you can download it, install it, and follow along here with me. But with 7-zip, I'm going to open the archive. And here we can see the files that we have in this archive. We have one atmosphere folder that has all the directory uh, folders needed to be already set up on your SD card. We have a configuration file that I'll be talking about later on and something that I haven't done or that I haven't done on any of my videos is there's going to be a text file here that explains exactly everything that I'm doing on this video so that way you can go ahead and if you don't want to follow along or if you just forget something simple you can open up this text file and you can reference that if you don't want to be going back and forth on the video. So it's up to you and I hope it helps because it can be confusing at first, but it gets easier as we uh, do more. So we're going to want to extract these files to the root of your SD card. Make sure your SD card is in the beginning area where you see your uh, custom firmware files, atmosphere bootloader and stuff like that. And the root is somewhere down here in the empty space of your SD card. So what we're going to want to do with 7-zip is highlight over these files and we're going to drag and extract them to the root of this SD card or your SD card. So now the files have transferred over even though we already had an atmosphere folder. The extraction goes with the atmosphere folder so now we have our module in the correct directory so that way it won't get confusing there uh, trying to set up a uh, atmosphere like that or the module so before I get confusing it just helps you out doing it this way so now we can exit out of this archive with from 7-zip and now we can take our attention to here we have a configuration file which I'll still explain later on in the video but it's pretty much what allows the module SysTweak to configure your uh, image icon for your games 
And here, just to briefly see it, we can open it up with Notepad, and you'll see that the steps that I'm doing are going to be pretty much exactly the same that I'm doing on this video. So you see here, right click the zip file, load archive with 7-zip, extract to the root of your SD card. I'm also talking about it only works with 7-zip and things like that. So if you want to reference that as we go along with this video, it should be pretty much exactly what I'm talking about here. So let's just go ahead and continue. So we're going to want to go into the SD card and navigate to our uh, contents folder from Atmosphere. So here, Atmosphere folder, then contents, and here you should have all your modules. So if you don't have nothing, that's fine. That's because you're not using any. But if you do have any folders, that's probably because you're using some type of modules uh, for something, like, like overlays, like Tesla, I think it's called, and things like that. But the folder that we extracted is going to be this one. It's 00FF74 and all these letters and numbers, BFF. If you open it up, you'll have a flags and an XF file. And you don't need to mess with any of these. This is just where it needs to be. Uh, so that way it can work on your uh, switches custom firmware. So now that we have that folder, if you don't have it, then the extraction didn't go so well. But if you do, then we can go ahead and continue. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a folder. Right click and create a folder. And this folder's name is going to be changed to the title ID of your game. So quickly, for example, I have these two folders here with their title IDs. And if I go into them, I'll have the configuration file that I talked about a little bit earlier and the image. And you most likely won't have a lot of files like here, but this is my Smash Bros. And I'm using Acropolis, so that's why it has more folders uh, than it should. So it's for this, the mod skins. But if we look at this other folder for the Ninja Turtles, we have just the image icon, which we we're going to re be resizing later on in the video. And uh, we have the configuration file that we need for it to uh, read or use the, the module we'll use to edit the title of your game. So yeah, we're going to be needing these files. So what we can do is we can go ahead and, um, and go back and go back to the root or the beginning of your SD card and find this configuration file. We're going to want to right click and copy it We can, because we're going to want to put it in the directory. So we can go ahead and go into Atmosphere, then Contents. And inside this new folder, we're going to want to uh, paste it here. So this configuration file, if you open it up with Notepad, you'll see these three simple lines. You're going to want to put your game that you're trying to change the image on. So for me, I'm trying to change the image of Street Fighter. Uh, type of whatever you want to type. I don't know how long you can make the title. Sometimes it doesn't work, but I'm just going to leave it like that. So after we're done, we can go ahead and uh, save. And that'll be saved and you're good to go. You can change the author if you like. Well, you, you want to leave it right, can love? It won't show it on your switch so it doesn't really matter to change these things this display version you don't need to change it either but of course if you're changing images and you don't want to uh, have any issues knowing which one to switch you can just put version 1 version 2 but like I said you don't have to change any of that it's just the title right here the name that's the most important but now that we saved it we have this ready to go and uh, we can now download the image that we want so before we finish off with this folder, let's go ahead and download a file like I already have here. I have these full uh, images, for example. So this is the image that I had on the beginning of the video. And I want to really um, make a point that these files need to be in JPEG, uh, JPG file format. So all my files are like this. For some reason, it works best with JPG. Or JPEG or however you say it it works best with that because I tried with bitmap and other types of file formats and it only works really for me with JPEG or JPG so you will see that this one is a BMP file it didn't work so I had to change it to a J JPEG sorry I don't know if I'm saying it right and even the Ninja Turtles is in JPEG format so the size needs to be uh, when you download it it needs to be higher than uh, 256 by 256 which I'll explain later but it, uh, if you find an image that's smaller than that and when you're trying to upscale it 
you're going to stretch out your image. So an image that's really big in file size, so this one's a 1080 by 1080, that's okay. As long as it's bigger than 256 by 256. So I just went to regular Google images and found images like this. So this one is the one that I have on the desktop and it's in JPEG format. It's a size to 1229 by 950. So that's good. You can also use any editing software like uh, Photoshop. You can make your own image, uh, your own style that you want. As long as it's in the JPG file format and you're good to go. And the size needs to be 256 by 256. So that's for those that are editing the images. But if you're downloading something from Google, like I am here, we could just go ahead and uh, follow along with that. So once you download the file for your game, so this is the one I have on uh, my Switch currently at the beginning of the video. So just to keep everything organized, we'll use the same image. See how it's a bigger image? I'm using Windows 10, and it comes with this uh, file of Photo Viewer. All I'm going to do is resize this image right click on the image resize it and we're going to want to go to define custom dimensions we're going to uncheck the maintain aspect ratio and we're going to put this as 256 by 256 and usually the quality has to be above 60 so i just leave it at, at 80 and we're going to want to save the resized copy so now i'm going to just put street fighter you can name it whatever you want and it's saved in my photos photo file so I'm going to open up a new file explorer and here I'm going to go into pictures and here is my Street Fighter now it's going to be sized by 256 by 256 so that's the size that we need it we're going to want to uh, move it to the folder that we have our configuration or for your game and we're going to have it here and we're, we're going to want to change the name to icon that's it you'll have these two files config and icon and now your files are set up the last thing that we need to do is we need to have our folder renamed to the title id of our game so now there's lots of websites that you can use to find this information and I'm only going to use one as reference uh, just to give you some type of uh, direction if you don't have one at the moment. So I like to use tinfoil.io uh, website. So in the description, there's going to be a link that says uh, tinfoil website. Click here. But well, once you click on that, you should see the tinfoil.io option here. And uh, let's go to the home so you'll see what it actually looks like. So if we make it... Uh, full screen we'll have a titles tab and this is where we're going to, want to click on titles once the page loads like this now we can go ahead and search for the game that you are trying to change the image as so I'm going to put Street Fighter and here we have the title ID so make sure if there's two games there might be some that have regions but I that I know of all the title IDs should be the same but uh, I'm really not sure about that, but they should be. So I'm using this website for that purpose. And here's the title ID that we need. I'm just gonna highlight this title ID, right click and copy. And I'm gonna go back to my folder and rename it. And there you go, press enter. And now we have the folder of our uh, game and the files that we need to configure it. And that's pretty much it, guys. For every single title uh, of the game that you want to change, you'll need to do these exact same steps. So if you already have these configurations, you can just copy paste it or the one that you got from the archive, it'd be up to you. But as long as you have it set up like this um, with a configuration file and the icon, it should work. But of course, if it doesn't, you can uh, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to help you out. But that should be it guys. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to test it out. So I'm going to eject my SD card and go back into my custom firmware and see if it works from there. So I'll see you when I get there. All right, so back here at the Switch Home menu, you can see that my Street Fighter 
image has been changed back to the same image that I had on the beginning of this video. And if there's for some reason that there's thoughts that it might be the same image as before, I'd like to say that the time has changed for one and also the title has been changed as well just in case there's any type of context like that. But um, you'll see that in the beginning of the video my title is Street Fighter Collectors and now it's Street Fighter exclamation mark. So I hope that you try it out and I hope that it works for you like it did for me. Of course if it doesn't I'll try and help you as best as I can. Just make sure that your title ID folder is the correct title ID for the specific game that you're trying to change the image on and inside that folder you have the configuration with the name that you want it and also the image sized to 256 by 256 and renamed to icon and it should work just like that <laughs> but of course if you get lost along the way you can rewatch this video or you can check out that uh, text file of the steps uh, just in case you want to reference that as well but everything's working for me guys and I hope it does for you as well. I appreciate it. I can show that it still works. The game works just fine. I go into it. And there we go. So the game is still working even though you changed the image. So you can see here I push home. It still has the image there. So it works just fine. It shouldn't mess up anything. But yeah, I hope it works out for you guys. And that's pretty much it. So I really appreciate the love and the support. From everybody that's been giving it to me and I love you all too so thank you again for watching and being there for me and let me know what you think of this setup or if you tried it and it worked for you okay um, that's it so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one